Okay, welcome everyone to Bad Spawn's Monday Night Live streaming of Fibbage, where it's game. And I'm still having difficulties here trying to get onto my channel. I can think I can see it now. So, Monday Night Game Night here for Bad Spawn. I'm Travis Mack, your host for the next hour. And I don't know what's going on. But my computer's being a right dick tonight. So, hey! I think we're connected. I've got my non alcoholic drinks. And I guess it's time to play the game. So, yay. So, there's a lot of people already waiting for me. So, shout out to everyone waiting for me to get this game underway. Yes, I'm not very talkative until the game actually Start starts. Game has been activated. Ah, wrong game! People are watching me fail already. I feel sad. Fibbage! Oh, I wonder if I picked my. I think one of my microphone just picked up my stomach churning. Alright, so live chat is on. We've got the live streaming going on. Got the game going on, everything's in its place, and they've told the driver to put in quickly so I can actually get to my own game. Hey, I'm in. Alright, so this is Fibbage for those of you who haven't seen or haven't seen the previous video we did of Fibbage. Um, up to eight players can play, and all it is basically the game will give you an opportunity to lie. We have Swash, we have Zus, Zusaf. Stuff from, I'm gonna pronounce. I did not do that for the purpose of entertainment. I did it for the purpose of I couldn't press on the right buttons. Um, so we've got three to start off with. Hopefully, it'll be a couple more in a second. There's four. Maddie's in the game. Maddie's one who's played it last time. Maddie knows what it's all about. I think Maddie won twice last time. If Maddie's listening on the uh, live stream right now, I think he won twice last time we played. Ah, uh, Zoo Surf. It sounds like the worst Pokemon move of all time. <laughs> yes, Maddie agrees that she did win two times last time. And we've got people trying to talk other people into playing, so. Shout out to Pokemon, by the way. Great game. I still have not played the new versions of Pokemon. And it's apple juice, if anyone's wondering. And I've got two liters of water next to me as well. Keep that hydration up! Oh! Gunshot, which means I've got another person playing. Praise. Praise that he wins. I always forget my phone's not actually on permanent non screen forever, so I think we'll start the game with us on five in total. And then we'll see what happens. So, welcome to Fibbage! Everyone's favourite game to play on a Monday night when it's late. Hi, I'm Cookie, night. and if I fall asleep during this, just poke the screen with a stick. Okay, five players, and you each look capable of lying your butts off, which is good. Let's do this. So, this is round one. Round one, of you'll course, get 500 know, points for everyone points you fool. For, and you'll no, get a thousand for, for finding the truth. Fool, and a thousand points, so you'll see All right, pick a swash. category. Swash, 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 maybe a maybe pirate's fan. We'll choose a category. Might choose a category. No, 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 that's Can okay, I've got it. Category in the country once. He okay, wants. here's your first question. The first question was, there is a riot police unit in the There's Russian town of Rostov-Nadonu that is composed entirely of blank. 
Now use your device to type a lie that might fool the other players so into believing right it. Police, if you get stuck, account, for half the points, you can use the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it blank. now! So you have to fill in the blank and try and get people to believe you. Otherwise, there is a button on your screen to say lie for me. And if people choose that, you get half the points. So... So each person lies and you've got to pick out the correct answer. Whoops, and Slosh Blade <laughs> completely missed the fact that she was trying to pick a question. Now, Slosh Blade, male or female? I'm gonna get it wrong all the way through this pop, this uh, stream. Okay, there are your choices. So snakes, Find the teenagers, and enter it twins, on your device women, by touching chicken, the answer and you want. dogs. <laughs> completely from teenagers. Oh. I'd like to think there'd be a right squad just make you know, snakes. All right, who picked what? Dogs. And it was also... So people put dogs in the first game. And can you believe it? It was also... Three people put dogs. That was weird. Wow, the fact that... Oh, praise puts that women for one... You fooled two. every sucker in the room. Congrats. Well, you guys blew it. <laughs> Completely <laughs> twins. And we're done. Okay. <laughs> well, well done to everyone who made that lie. Hey, look! Dead last. I got a like! People like me. Select a category. So, three of you had dogs, and one person okay, took everyone into question. women. Advanced comfort technology makes waterbeds for blank. Enter your lies now. Oh, I didn't read the question. Advanced comfort technology make water beds for... Okay, here you go, find sleeping, the truth. Children, people missing a limb, horses and your pets. <laughs> That's not what I'm for sleeping. Oh, I have to uh, I have to say horses because it sounds like something the racing community would do. I like the idea of sleeping though. Okay, what did everyone pick? No, oh, well, Slosh got me. People missing a win. <laughs> that was mine, Maddie. Oh, Maddie got another two. Maddie's a really good liar. Don't trust Maddie. And Zeus are. We get to the truth, for us. So, if you hope to have sex with cows in your van, this is the bed for you. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Still in last. Oh, I gotta choose to pick time. a category. Oh, my screen locked. This is not fair. Wax. Okay, here's the question. In 2006, the Wax Museum Madame Tussauds in New York City introduced its first Madame wax Tussauds blank. Madame Tussauds in New York City introduced its Life first in wax. Now. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. Um, it's too so fat little six, and it's New York. Where's Selfie maker, truth? animal, baby, penis, cartoon character, 
dog. Oh. Selfie maker. I think to be honest, this might be too early for the selfie maker. <laughs> Animal sounds about right. Baby, uh, it could have been the royal baby, 2006. Oh, baby, animal, dog. Oh, baby. Let's see what everybody selected. Martin Carrager. That was Swash's lie. Swash is the one of lies at the moment. Animal. Swash is the with that. That was Maddie's lie. I can have two lies from Maddie. Baby. That was me and Maddie. Hey! It was a wax version of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's Baby Shiloh. No word on whether they actually showed Angelina Jolie giving wax birth. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Maddie is a really good liar. I think we need to watch out. On the plus side, Penis got a like. Round two, 1,000 points two, in one four, which and 2,000 point points in one for finding the truth. Exciting. All right, and pick a category. Zusuf is looking for the question. And Maddie is laughing like an evil person. Okay, here's the question. Time for a road trip. While in Washington State, go well, see Washington the State, unusually, go named, to the unusually blank named Dick Mountain. <laughs> Enter your lies now. <laughs> Something Dick Mountain. Well, where's the guy? For me, button, if you can't think of something, okay. Which one's the <laughs> truth? Small dick mountain, soft dick mountain, whiskey dick mountain, Moby dick mountain, large dick mountain, split dick mountain. Oh man, oh, whiskey. I like the idea, but Okay, let's take a look. Nice <laughs> dick mountain. That was Maddie. <laughs> Maddie's not telling us something about that large dick mountain. I put Moby. That was a uh, praise line. <laughs> Whiskey Dick Mountain is correct. And that means. Oh, no one choose Small Dick Mountain. Maddie and Swash taking an early lead here. Select a category. I cannot get off the bottom of the ladder. Okay, here's the question. Under Peter the Great, noblemen had to pay 100 rubles a year for a blank license. So under Peter the Great, noblemen now. had to pay 100 rubles a year for a... anything. Okay, here so are Maddie's your been choices. kicked from the game, so when people have a chance now. Reproducing, horse license, goat license, beard license, maid license, living license. <laughs> what an idea of a living license. Horse, goat, beard, made, reproducing, living. Uh, 
Jessica came back All in. All right, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, that's it, I quit. Hey, I got 500 points back. Thanks, Matty. <laughs> Beer license. And the rest of the board goes unselected. I think Maddie got back in, and I think uh, Jack would be paying $100, 100 rupees a year for the beard license. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Shout out to Jack Patillo, by the way. In 2000, Australia had its largest ever online petition, which called for an end to rising blank prices. Australia! Enter your lies now. In 2000, Australia had its largest ever online petition, which called for the end of a rising to blank prices. Well, that doesn't make sense because we put a petition every year and for the end of something to rise in prices. <laughs> Prices, milk prices, alcohol prices, beer prices, petrol prices. Hmm. Let's see what everybody selected. So, milk was incorrect. I picked beer like everyone else. <laughs> of course. Oh, it's course. unclear whether the petition fosters enough support. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Oh, we have ten people viewing this. Do people have seriously have nothing better to do on a uh, Monday night? I'm still in last! It's the final fit, but for anyone who is watching this, you know what we're going to This is your final question, and it's worth so triple. Stay tuned. It's anybody's it game. game. If you're okay, here is your final fibbage question. The fastest growing baby name for girls in 2012. Type in your lies now. Truth. Sophie, Aria, Ching, Alice, Sophie, Bella. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not. Okay, what did everyone pick? Wash got two there. Sophie got three. Those are the big points that in the That was a big one. In the last round. And look what we have here. Ta-ra! So, uh, yeah, lots of uh, Game of Thrones fans and or drunk people out there. Of course, Game of and Thrones. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. The final scrolls! Oh, I came in dead last. And Zeus, I'm going to get some of them. Comes in first with a big thumbs up cup going to praise. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and this ain't my first row. Yeah. 
apply. So, room code is triple A Y. So, we've got Maddie back in Razzo XL. We've got Hellfire, Lude, God, Swash, Bill Nye. <laughs> Nye's back. I love when Bill Nye plays. Two more. Can we get the two more? I think that's going to be a 21 one this game. Welcome to the I game 2 for Fibbage, where I will not end up last. The worst in each of you. I see we have six players ready to pull answers out of their butts. So, that's six butts. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. So Bill Nye picks the first category of the second game. Okay, here's your first question. In 2003, Morocco made the highly unusual offer to send 2000 blank to assist the United States war effort in Iraq. Enter your lies in now. In Morocco made the highly unusual offer to send 2000 blanks to assist them. <laughs> bullets? 2000 bullets? You know, bullets in hell. And Hurry, shout out the to the person who just followed me on Twitch. Thank you very highly for your followership. Oh, please, I've lost one person already. Okay, so which one's the truth? So we have 2,000 prostitutes, 2,000 pillows, 2,000 monkeys, 2,000 camels, 2,000 dogs. 2,000 choreographs and 2,000 swordsmen. <laughs> oh, Maddie as well follows me up now. I thought Maddie already followed me. Oh, well. oh I'm tired. <laughs> 2,000 swordsmen. I like it. Pick something! Who picked what? Oh, Bill Nye and I chose dogs. That was Maddie's. God damn it, Maddie! Camels. That was Raz's lie. And it was also. <laughs> it was also Bill Nye's lie. Great minds think alike. Swordsman. Thank God that was not the answer. <laughs> Well, don't you feel foolish? <laughs> As a way to detonate That's bombs right, Maddie, and to you. be hilarious. And that means... Alright, answer me this. How do 2,000 monkeys help anyone? Your answer is submitted below. Hey, I'm back on the bottom. But I got three likes, that's all. Select a category. Hellfire will be choosing the next category. Welcome to the person who just joined us in this room. Well, welcome we to play next game. Forever. I see you there, watching us. Okay, Wondering here's the how question. You can join, how you can be part of this incredible game. Walter Arnold received the world's first speeding ticket in 1896 for going blank miles per hour. 
Type in your lies now. Uh, I think I'm safe with all it. I would like to think he's on the back of like a old Model T or something going in my speed. Um, Video Freak, yes you can join at the end of the uh, next game, we're only on round one, so probably another 10 minutes. And if you get in before everyone else does, but we haven't got a full game at the moment, so it's likely that you can get in the next game. Okay, if you here you go, find the truth. So, 8, 7, 8, 9, 15, 18, 20, and 25. Good luck, 21. Okay, let's take a look. Nine miles an hour. That was Maddie's set it. That was Hellfire's lie. Eighteen miles an hour. Bill Nye and I said again. Great minds think alike, Bill Nye. Unfortunately, that was Lazar's lie again. Eight miles an hour. He was, this is true, in a two mile an hour zone. So, serves him right. And that means some of these didn't get picked. So that would make it five kilometers an hour? <laughs> Video freak with a big neck. <laughs> big wings. Oh, that's it. Big Video freak better make it to the next game. Time to pick a category. Smuggle. Okay, here's the question. In 2010, a custom officers smuggle. on the Norway-Sweden border intercepted a truck trying to smuggle 28 tons of blank from China. Enter your lies now. So in 2010, customs officers on the Norway Sweden border intercepted a truck trying to smuggle 28 tons of something from China. Hurry! Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. <coughs> Cheese, right, fireworks, liver, truth? garlic, dried snakes, pinky rings, prostitutes. I like it. Oh, come on. Everyone seems to know this answer except me. Alright, who picked what? Hey, I picked fireworks. Maddie's lying. And it was also. God damn it, Maddie. God damn it, Mazza! <laughs> that was weird. Swiss, Swiss for cheese, that's Bill Nye's lie. And everyone else seems to know what it's called. And the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> Welcome to Iron Root, who is now watching the videos. I haven't scored a single fucking point. Um, now oh yeah. it's round two, where um, all point values are doubled. Let's do it. Alright, pick a category. 28 tons of garlic, you, um... Well, just in case you need to, uh... How do I okay, put this? Okay, here's the question. Take yourself from Dracula, you need 28 tons of garlic. Edward Smith from Yelm, Washington, garnered media attention for his claim that he's had sex with over 1,000 blank. Type in your lies now. Uh, video freak in terms of anything you can't say? Uh, no, because this is normally a group that's, well, I say mature, but, well, anything but. Um, just okay, know over the top racial choices. slurs that I'm gonna have to kick you out for, basically. But you can see, like, this question's uh, sex with all a thousand blanks. So. Yeah, you can get away with a fair bit. Alright, 
Let's see what everybody picked. Crash test dummies. Animals. That would be Maddie's lie again. Bill Nye picks sheep. Bill Nye's also New Zealand. Duh. And it was also. Great minds think alike. I got points! The cars have never been on top, though. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Hey, you gotta choose a category. category. Hmm. Oh, there's only one category. Come on, let's be honest. Okay, here's the question. In 2008, a couple was killed in South Africa while having sex on a blank. Enter your lies now. I think Maddie's getting upset now that she's losing. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Guys, a ladder, highway, elephant, dead whale. <laughs> Wood chip out. Well, railroad track. Tell you what, 20 points. Let's see what everybody selected. Uh, how do you have sex on a ladder and how do you have sex on a guy? Mm. <laughs> and how do you have sex on a wood chipper? <laughs> they thought they could. They thought they could. They couldn't. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. I'm moving up now. I've taken over Bill Nye. Bill Nye. And I. <laughs> I swear to God, Bill Nye. All right, Nye's pick a category. Over my, over my pocket. Over my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. It's not hard. You know what? We'll just stick with Raza. this one. Raza. No. Okay. Here's the question. I'm out of drink. Jacobite Cruises purchased unusual insurance to protect it from damage caused by blank. Type in your lies now. Unusual insurance to protect it from damage. All right, Unusual where's the truth? Insurance to protect. I'm not speaking tonight from that one. Tornadoes, leprechaun, starfish, rotten legs, barnacles, the Loch Ness monster, man, who had sex with over 1,000 cars. I like to think of starfish and leprechauns. Uh, tornadoes, maybe, but it's unusual. Uh, rotten eggs. Okay, what did everyone pick? Oh, fuck. It's never good when I come up first. Bill Nye, the science guy, has a 2,000 lead on mine. Bill Nye also picked Maddie's a lie. No, Swash's lie. The Loch Ness Monster. Oh! And we're done. And I'm back in the boat again. The 
final fibbage. This is the final fibbage. One question left for all the marbles, and everything is worth triple. Good luck. Here's your final fibbage question. The secret, secret code, code name, name for, for the project, project to, invent to invent the first, the first microwave, microwave oven, oven in the, in the 1940s. 1940s. Enter your lies now. If you can't think of something, oh no. Oh, just in time. Okay, which one's the truth? The nuke booth, magic box, speedy weenie, <laughs> M O U T H, Hogan Star, Hunter Kettle Hitler. So <laughs> oh, if it's not speedy weenie, it was not speedy weenie. And yes. All right, who picked what? Project Magic Box. Don't like that. Swash is lie. Project Spark. I need to swash the event. Swash is lie. The Speedy Winnie. Picked by myself. That's some health. I want the truth. And it shall set you free. What That was my old nickname in college. Speeding wing. And that means... I like it. <laughs> oh, look at that. I ended up... Halfway. Four. And Raza wins game two of the... And I get the Foot Likes trophy. <laughs> yes, shout out. Shout out to our uh, pressing five tries. Shout out to Monty Elm. Because we miss him and we love him. I oh, know, that's uh, upsetting. Upsetting. Uh, I think I've had a bit. But shout out to Monty Elm. <laughs> Big win. <laughs> <laughs> Ludwo is Nostradamus. Barry Mc. Oh, I have no idea how to pronounce that one. Mechonica? 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 Swash is back in. Two more. Come on, two more. Two more, let's go. Two more, come on. Just two more. A U Z V. <coughs> oh, we got nine. We got eight. I am Groot. Well, it used to be one of my names. Maddie, you've got less than two seconds. Trust me, you've got much less than two seconds. Okay. I'm waiting for Maddie. Maddie's computer isn't fast enough to realise that if the code is A. Come on, Maddie. Alright, well, Maddie might not be able to get in. Okay. Okay. Image. Hey, I'm Cookie Masterson, your fun time host person. I gotta get a better job description.
Seven players. All right. A lot of pressure to not come in last when there's that many people. Let's do this. Object of the game is to actually not come in last. This is round one. I'm you'll get 500 points for everyone at all. you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. We never ignore you, Maddie. Okay, here's your Tombstone. first question. Tombstone! Shout out to The Undertaker. An Indiana woman sued a church cemetery because they refused to install her late husband's tombstone shaped like a blank. Type in your lies now. My question to all you guys, who's your favorite WWE superstar? Past, present, or future? Okay, here you go. Find guitar, the truth. Couch, stripper pole. <laughs> pole of curry, bat. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. So Big Win has got the first point on the board. With and his... it was also... Okay, well Nostradamus also put half. That was weird. Big Wayne's chosen my guitar. I'm on the board. Swastika. <laughs> oh, we can't take that. Well, a dead body is one of the worst things you can find under a couch. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Yeah, shout out, I agree with Maddie and Squash Blade here. Shout out to the poor pilot. Not a man I would like to step into the ring with. Select a category. I am Groot. We'll be choosing the next topic. If I am Groot is... No, 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 that's okay, I've got it. I think I am Groot is not in the game. Okay, Magician! here's the question. On his own website, magician David Blaine once wrote, The most courageous act a man can do is blank. Enter your lies now. button if you can't think of something. Oh, oh, oh has actually got someone back. Okay, here are your choices. Break up, cry, magic, masturbate, and public. <laughs> oh, he's pussy. Die and turn to gold. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. I am Groot. That was my life. Dive big wings, shut that one. That would have been Swash's life. Cry. Everyone else chose to die. That was the truth. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Oh, 
look at a leaderboard, look at it, admire it, respect it, I'm on top. Just where I belong. Alright, pick a category. <laughs> yeah, I choose a category of kill. Okay, here's the question. In, In 2007, 2007, Golden, Golden Laurel, Laurel Entertainment yeah. published a violent board game called Kill the Blank. Type in your lies now. <laughs> I should lose some money. <laughs> so in 2007, Golden Larry only made a Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. The truth. Kill the demons. Kill the demon. Kill the heat. Kill the old. Just kill the old. Anything that's old. Just kill it. Kill the god. Kill the golden brain and kill the Alright, let's see what everybody picked. Kill the demon. That was Big Wayne's lie. That asshole. Lots of suckers on that one. Pump. Never free. That was Swash's lie. Not Great lie asshole. there. Kill the hippies. Was it true? <laughs> and that's it. Nobody else's lies got picked. I'm still in second. Kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting. Select a category. Do, do, it's big. Wings turn, he has to pick a category. Wait, if he is listed. Name he picked on eBay. Okay, here's the bang. question. That's a great place. The first to item shop. listed on eBay was a broken blank. Enter your lies now. It was a broken heart, and it was mine. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Do do. Last person needs to pick now. They need to pick the game now. It's not going to happen. It will be not the fact. Okay, here you go. Broken Find dildo, the truth. Broken toaster, broken chair, broken mug, broken watch, broken CD, broken laser pole, and broken penis pump. Cause you know. Okay, so what did everyone pick? Action, what was it? It was a broken mug. Swash picked this mug. It was not my. It was my life for a mug. That was a thousand points to my name. Chair. Was it a broken chair? Not Thomas? Nope, nothing on this is lost. 1,000 points. A broken watch. Three of us picked that. That was Swash's lie. That was a great lie. And a broken toaster. Also a lie. That's not on this lie. This is not going to be good. Well, you guys blew it. <laughs> we look foolish. It was purchased by a cat who is just absolutely mesmerized by it. And nobody picked the other lies up there. On the plus side, I'm still in second. Time to pick a category. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here's the question. Swash, I'm coming after you. The first thing eaten in outer space was blank. Type in your lies now. You know what, I'd love to go to space, just to see what it's like. Well, here's done. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. <laughs> okay, here are XT, your choices. XTC, pill, toothpaste, applesauce, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> the first thing eaten in outer space was eat toast. <laughs> Come on. Tomato, cheese, a peanut. Pick something! Joust Tron is going for comedy at the moment, and he was one that said Apos, obviously. Let's see what everybody selected. Jeez! <laughs> that was not the dumbest lie. Peanut! That was Swash's lie. Macaroni and cheese! That was fucking... <laughs> Ah! Toothpaste! That was my eye. I got a thousand points back. And it was also... Oh! Big Wayne's lie! Great minds think alike. Applesauce! By humans, anyway. Aliens probably ate some Flurm or Clarpax first. Shout and out to the toothpaste. Some of these ingenious lies. Oh no, I'm back down to fourth. Swash Select now. the category. The leader has the board. We're all watching you, Swash. Choose wisely. Okay, here's the question. Blake. Time for a celebrity tweet. 3.20 p.m., 9th of November, 2012. At Blake Shelton, the country singer and judge on The Voice tweeted, Just fell down and gashed my hand open while running from blank. Don't ask. Enter your lies now. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. I think everyone who's watching this video right now may be a Rooster Teeth fan. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> I'm running from the fat women. I'm running from the court pilot. Simon, Little Green Man, Marcus, Ostrich, the gym. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh! Oh, I love my life sometimes. Team lads! So I have to now set to this video when it goes onto YouTube. All right, who picked what? Little Green Men was Lou Waters' lie. An ostrich. Oh no, I picked that. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I got it. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Uh, I'm still in fourth.
The final fibbage. It's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. The name of the Kermit the Frog inspired cologne made by January Productions in 1995. Type in your lies now. Frogans by Colleen made by Gender Production in 1995. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Five people have four people left. Three, two people left. No, two people have missed out on the entering their lie. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Piggy mist. <laughs> Piggy magnet. <laughs> it's hard not to. It's hard to be green. Green easy. There's some breath. Frog guts not easy. Amphibia. Oh man, that's some breath. I think we need to uh, refrain from talking about ages. Pick something! On this one. Okay, let's take a look. Pig magnet. I like the idea of pig magnet. <laughs> Not easy. Good. Good choice. Not easy picking the wrong answer as well. Swatch that was gone. Green easy. And we'll swatch his life. He gets the points back. He gets the points back. Amphibia. I chose that one. I am a good Oh, I got it right. So if you're looking to have sex with a pig. And we're done. I was so close. Congratulations to Swash on winning the third game. And the thumbs up cup goes to Lude Warners. I wonder really how you pronounce that because I can't pronounce it. Right. Ugh. I am Groot. Did not score a single point in that game. Well, that's it for me tonight. Thank you for joining us. I can't manage to get back onto the home screen. Uh, Welcome to the game. I'm Cookie. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Well, another night you're better of liars than uh, all of my game nights. Hope you've had enjoyment. Hope Seven of you playing, I see. In my living room, uh, four of you would be sitting we on will milk be crates. Back on Wednesday night, we're we'll doing some cards against humanity. If I can actually learn how to set them one up. So until then, thank you for watching. You know the deal. Tune in. Tune on a Wednesday night. We're doing Monday night. Thank you, Swash, for thank you, thanking me. Uh, you know, subscribe to Twitch, subscribe to us on YouTube at Bad Spawn. Uh, find us on Facebook under Bad Spawn. Uh, or find me, Trav Mac. And until next time, thanks for playing along. This has been Game Night.